Hi guys, I'm in the Grand Californian.
probably the most extra you guys will ever see me but hi welcome back to the vlog this vlog is gonna be such an exciting vlog because as you can see i'm staying in the grand californian basically one it's the start of my birthday weekend so i was like you know what let's celebrate to my sister and my disney pass expires tomorrow so we're like okay right now we're kind of deciding to not renew so we figured let's go out with a bang let's save the grand californian out of the three disneyland hotels this one's like the most expensive i'm not gonna lie they do give like a magic key discount so we're like you know this is probably one of the only times we'll be able to do this so we're gonna take advantage so so far today as you guys saw my sister did get her hair cut here at the salon and they were so nice like honestly so so nice there i've given like most people here in this hotel cast compliments like they're the nicest people here so we did that we had reservations at magic terrace so we got our you know our usual charcuterie especially because again if our pass is expiring we won't be able to go in there so we're like one last time we did get genie so we were able to go on rides so so far we've done a few rides already after dinner today we are gonna go back into disneyland and do more rides then and then just come back and chill i feel like now we're kind of struggling because again we paid so much for this and it's so expensive that we're like should we put more use into the hotel we are having dinner here at the hotel at the craftsman bar i think that's, that's what it's called which again we've never been since we like the first time so at least we're gonna do that but there's like other activities they have they have going on so i was like oh my gosh there's almost now too much to do this robe is amazing they actually sell them at the gift shop and i'm low-key considering buying one it is so cozy but i was like you know what i'm gonna go all out okay if this is my last time with the pass we're gonna go all out plus it's my birthday so everything goes but yeah it's been so much fun so far we are honestly low-key tired they gave us the room like right at check-in which was you know i guess like i can't blame them it's like normal check-in time right now but we were here like really early actually last year when i got my pass we stayed at the disneyland hotel for the first time i have a vlog if you guys want to check it out we did that and they were able to get us a room pretty like early on in the day so it was like nicer because we had like that little break and we can just like go to the room then go back to the parks type of situation but here we just were in the parks a good chunk of the day i will say one of the cons from this hotel which is crazy considering this is the more expensive one is that the parking lot is across the street which is again something to keep in mind if you are planning to like drive here or you're gonna have a car here why is it across the street i understand that disneyland has the smallest land possible but the fact that now called pixar place has the all the parking lot is just crazy to me considering that this is like the big one but you know what it is what it is this hotel does have a direct entrance into dca which again is really nice since thankfully we had dca first today it was so nice to use the entrance and so just super cool so right now we are relaxing it is three we have dinner reservations at 5 30 so we'll just probably chill here for like the next couple hours do dinner and then do like the last night stretch in the parks so that's fun again there's like almost now so much to do i want to get for sure ice cream at one point here at downtown disney they do have a salt and straw so i was like i want salt and straw but do i want to go inside the park to get ice cream i don't know there's almost now too much to do also i'm watching the nfl combine in the background because you know football for tomorrow morning my sister and i signed up to do power walking in dca before the park opens so we do have to wake up at like 5 40 or 5 45 the latest that we want to at least put some makeup on it starts at 6 30 and we have to be there at least 15 minutes before so that's gonna be interesting they did tell us it's like an hour ish so we're gonna walk around the park before it opens which i think is really cool i think it was like one of those things where like i just want to have the experience i don't know if it's just for hotel guests because obviously the spa itself we did ask today and anyone can like make a booking like anyone can come here obviously you have to pay it's not like for hotel guests which i thought was really interesting so i'll include the link for all that stuff down below if you guys want to check it out because obviously the power walking is like super cool like what a neat idea and it's obviously before the park opens so you don't need a park ticket so i'm excited to do that we're just gonna have to wake up early and then we have breakfast at plaza inn tomorrow which is gonna be super fun i love plaza inn breakfast so it's gonna be a good time but yes right now we are just relaxing just enjoying the hotel so far i will say the theming is really beautiful in this hotel because it's like very naturey just california vibes you know i love chippendale and dirt everywhere which is like what i love but yes i'm literally just sitting in this cozy little robe i'm so tired i literally like took off my shoes immediately and was like 
done but we're getting our strength so we can go hard till night time the parks do close early today because today's the thursday so dca does close at nine and disneyland closes at 11 so at least we won't have to go to midnight you know we're gonna try to get as much rides as possible at least like the main ones like big thunder pirate space as long as those are done we still have tomorrow morning so yes that is kind of it so far that's all that's been happening good good times the hotel room is pretty simple but it's nice this is actually we have a two beds but this thing is actually a sofa bed which is pretty cool obviously we're not going to use it today but i think it's like cool that they have that if you have more people i guess it fits more people also they were able to accommodate this because actually what i didn't know is that like when you book at least these i'm pretty sure it was also for disney world it'll just give you like the view like oh it's a standard view or this view and then they'll list like the types of rooms so i'll be like a king with a sofa bed or two queens you kind of have to input like i want a bed like a room with two beds so i did have to do that and it literally says like not guaranteed so i'm so thankful that they were able to get us a room with two beds i feel like that's also why they took longer thankfully we got that and yes that is all my thoughts so far i feel like i'm missing something but you know it is what it is it's our last disney hurrah you guys i'm so sad but also it's expensive to have a pass <laughs> i do want to make a whole video on like my updated thoughts on magic key like now that it's been a year and i'm not renewing i have thoughts y'all um, especially because if you guys saw my last magic key video i do kind of go through it and i explained that disneyland already had like a reservation type pass in the old system it was a flex pass and i had deleted the video but wayback machine came through and the video is actually on there so i was actually able to watch it and honestly y'all there was some perks from flex that i feel like were really good that i don't know why they didn't use them for current magic key because basically for flex there there was days that you had to reserve but there was also days that were like good to go days that you didn't need a reservation you could just show up and i feel like they should bring that that option back at least for like the top two tiers i do want to do an updated video just on my thoughts on magic key yeah i'm honestly low-key tired so we're just gonna enjoy the rest of the day lay down in the bed do all that stuff get a little cozy i'm so cozy in this dang robe oh my gosh thankfully they're smart enough that they're selling it in their gift shop here because uh, i'm pretty sure people steal these like it's generally so soft inside but yes i'm just gonna take you guys along for the rest of the weekend see what else goes on and all that stuff so yes it's gonna be a fun time of the resistance base is secure. Bravo!
what is up you guys it is 5 57 we are getting ready my sister is next to me we have to be there at 6 10 to check in the walk itself starts at 6 30 but they want you to be there like 10 or 15 minutes earlier to check in i don't think i mentioned this but this is like an extra charge like you have to sign up for all of these activities again i'll include the link down below i don't know if it's i think it might just be for hotel guests because it literally says like do not like you don't need to change like take cash or credit because i'll just be charged to your room which you know it's nice but i'm also gonna still take my bag because we're going into disneyland right after i'm like confused because technically it does say it's like two miles and you have to keep up like a 15 to 18 minute pace which means like technically it should be like at least 30 to 40 minutes but the girl when she confirmed our thing she's like just make sure like expect like an hour so i was like okay um because we have breakfast re reservations at 8 30 so if it ends at 7 30 it's like this weird gap where we're like might as well go to disneyland and like at least rope drop a ride before we go breakfast so yay it is still very early so i need to at least get ready super quick i'm not doing intense makeup for the day anyway but we're gonna just do that have breakfast hopefully at least just go on a ride we're gonna, we're gonna try to do space mountain because we were able to do it last night also the fact that you can hear people in the hallway already like yeah, people wow. are up y'all disney activities we weren't able to do space mountain yesterday which is crazy because we did have genie because we were like okay like it's our last days like let's make sure we get the rides in but we were not able to do space mountain so i was like this is perfect what can rope drop space mountain we're gonna see how this walk goes we are trying to go as bundle as possible it is 53 degrees so we're gonna see how this goes we have 10 minutes to finish getting ready and thankfully we have everything kind of set up we will have at least time to come back to our room after breakfast and relax a little bit and we want to do more like hotel stuff before we have to check out but it's been a good day i slept very well i also slept in the room that they provide and it was the coziest day in the world which again they do sell it in the in the gift shop the robe but it's like a hundred dollars it's a hundred dollars so do i need it we'll see if i just yellow out of depression because yeah this is my last day with the disney pass oh my gosh <laughs> honestly this is a very nicely lit bathroom i will say it definitely feels a lot bougier even more than like the disneyland hotel which is kind of cool you know gives you like a whole experience we are just gonna finish getting ready i'm basically almost ready i'm doing again very simple makeup just because we're gonna be walking around it is also very early and then we're just doing breakfast and then that's basically it also it's funny because food and wine actually starts today which actually could be a good thing because we are going into the exam first meaning people will probably wait till it to dca to eat you know but they were already having like the booths open and like to eat buy stuff yesterday which was pretty cool but we got so full with the charcuterie board at terrace magic terrace so yay <laughs> fun times i'm gonna finish getting ready and then i'll show you guys the walk. I mean, I'm still gonna take my phone and my camera, but we'll see what happens. Let me finish getting ready. Okay, guys, we couldn't film in the walk because it was like before the magic. There was a lot of like trucks out, like people working on stuff. Hi, sister. Um, but it was so nice actually look at the park with no one in there. <laughs> it actually you could see all the details. Also, our trainer is Eloy Gilman's cousin, which was really cool because I was wearing the beanie and he's like, hey, they give us little snacks. They did give me, since I was wearing my birthday button, they did give me like a free little shower steamer, which I thought was really sweet because obviously they didn't have to, but I thought it was sweet. But yeah, now we're heading into Disneyland side because we can actually still do road drop. So we're gonna try to do space and then go to breakfast. So good day, how'd you feel? <laughs> it was a good workout it was a little more intense than i thought like i thought it was just yeah. to be walking but they actually have like exercises like at different parks like at the different spots of the parks which is nice because you can stop and be like oh we're at adventures campus and we're gonna do this but it was you know a little more intense than i thought but yes now we're walking and we will be inside the park soon yay
checkout but guys we're actually back in the room because we have like an hour to check out so we're like you know what let's go relax a little bit we did have obviously breakfast and honestly i'm stuffed like i literally don't want to think about food forever probably till later but whatever i don't know if i showed this but this was the little gift that they gave me from the walk because they saw my birthday pin which honestly was so sweet of them because again they don't ask you for that information i just had my pin so the fact that they ended, ended up giving me this was so sweet but it's a shower steamer which is so cool so you just put them place onto shower floor let the warm water release the oils and their therapeutic benefits which is actually so cool because literally when my sister was getting her haircut i got i was looking at them already and i was like oh i would like one and it was like a whole different staff this morning so the fact that like they gave me one is just perfect timing also since sally this is it for my past i was like you know what this is the last time i'll be using the discount for stuff so I was wondering, like, should I get, like, a Disneyland sweater? Should I get the spirit jersey? But I ended up getting my own robe from the hotel. I just took my beanie off, so my hair is a mess. Chip kept ruining my beanie. Yay. But, yes, I got the robe because I figured it is $99.99, okay? But I had my discount, which is 20% off. And I was like, you know what? Screw it. I need one last memory. This will be it. So it was only, like, 80-something dollars. So I was like, you know what? That's better. Obviously, I'm probably, like, staying at the Grand Californian is, like, a big thing. Like, it's not something I would do often. Again, this is my first time here. So I was like, you know what? It's a perfect souvenir because I remember this trip. I remember staying here. And it's just, like, a nice way to wrap things up. So I'm so excited for this robe. I've actually been wanting a robe. So my sister has been reminding me, like, you've been wanting a robe. Because, again, I was, like, between, like, getting a sweater, the spirit jersey. Because I have, like, the blue spirit jersey. And I was, they have the black one. But she was like, you know, you've been wanting a robe. What a, like, perfect way to... Uh, do all the things you know so yes now we're at the hotel like i said we're just gonna chill for a little bit and just pack up and then head out so yes it's been a fun time i will say grand californian is such a nice hotel definitely better themed and just it feels very put together i feel like the cast members here know like the scale of this hotel i mean i would say disney hotel is the main one but i feel like price wise this is the main one because it's more expensive so i feel like they do pride themselves in like doing a very good job everything from even like housekeeping like we've had housekeeping twice one time they obviously couldn't come in because we had like the room occupied thing but like the fact that they even have housekeeping come and like just check up on the rooms is so nice we did have ballet parking which is actually also nice because they're like you know what even if you want to stay after you can just it's the ballet parking takes over that whole next day like it's only for the night itself so like if we wanted to stay till like midnight and then just come get our car it would have been fine like it's just one charge which again super nice but overall it's been a really fun trip i am a little sad of letting my pass expire but at the same time like i haven't been to disneyland as often as i used to obviously even today like so many things were closed because again it's technically off season so a lot of things are closed for me for we actually were trying to rope drop space mountain oh yeah that's the thing we didn't even go on space mountain because it was just down like completely so like so many people that like were rope dropping space mountain with us like we went to the ride and they're like oh sorry that was also like a thing that i was like okay cool we ended up just going to our breakfast reservation and then we're like you know what that's pretty much it because we did all the main rides last night so we're like you know what? it feels like a good time to wrap it up we enjoyed our time at disney obviously like i had my pass since 2015 i've seen it through ups and downs so i was like you know what this feels like a downtime so i feel like maybe later on once everything's kind of up and up again i might get it again but for now it's time to save we're just gonna enjoy what life is, do other activities, and all of that stuff. So, yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Let me know if you guys have any thoughts, questions about anything, the hotel, Disney passes. Again, I do want to do an update video on that or anything else. Let me know down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. I would love to have you guys around. And yes, that is it. I'll see you guys later. Bye!